Hi, can you hear me? Cool. Speak from the diaphragm, as they say. Um, so when I got the prompt for this, I was uh, kind of stressing. Uh, and then I wrote a thing, and I hope you like it. And if you don't, please don't tell me that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it goes like this. <clears throat> Uh, the theme of the night is, how do you show gratitude? And when I first saw that, I was excited because even though America is trash, I was grateful for a lot of shit. Uh, you had your fundamental shit, like roof over my head, clothes on my back, food on my table. And then you had your basic bitch shit, like my weekly Spotify discovery playlist. Because that algorithm fucking gets me. I listen to that playlist and I feel seen, right? Cheese. The 24 hour Mexican bakery next to my crib that sells burritos and cheesecake, which is like a cake and cheese. Beyonce. There were so many things to be thankful for, and then I reread the theme and it hit me, that was not the theme. Uh, I was supposed to be stating how I show gratitude, and then I realized that that was a really good question. A question I didn't know the answer to. How did I show gratitude? And if it takes that long to answer, I must be some kind of an asshole. So I asked my friend Laura, I said, Laura, am I an asshole? And she responded, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> so I sat at my desk, also known as my couch, and I decidedly ignored that question because self-reflection is hard and I miss my therapist. And if you're a good person, shouldn't you know the answer? I mean, besides saying thank you and hugging people, how was I actively showing my gratitude? So I Googled some shit. Siri, define gratitude. Hello, Shantira. Okay, bitch, that's not how you say it. <laughs> gratitude is defined as the qu quality of being thankful. It's like, okay, thank you for answering. And the readiness to show appreciation for and to return kindness. Oh, shit. And to return kindness. Fuck, I had to explore how I was actively returning kindness. So I racked my brain and I ate some cheesecake from that bakery. And I Googled some more shit. Siri, Google love languages. Then I read about them and decided I couldn't show gratitude to the author because he was an old, straight, white man named Gary and because I'm mad at old, straight, white men right now. So fuck you, Gary. <laughs> Siri, play Beyonce. <laughs> Playing Beyonce. I go, yeah, you better pronounce that shit right. And as five flawless key changes of love on top drifted over me and the burrito I was eating on my couch desk, it hit me. I was an asshole. Sometimes I was grateful that I had friends like Laura to call me on my shit. I'm a child of the South. I was born and raised in Tallahassee, Florida. And I don't know if you know this, but that is a hard, straight, a hard state to be grateful for. You've seen the news. Florida is literally shaped like a dick because it likes to fuck America. But we Southerners love calling people out on their shit. So I text Laura, hey boo. I appreciate your honesty and always keeping me in check. I feel seen. I have a song from my Discovery playlist that I think you might like. It'll make your heart happy. I see you. My grandmother calls and leaves a voicemail. She says that I don't have to call her back. She was just thinking of me. I call her back and ask her, how long should I cook the oxtails for? How does she season them? I tell her I'm grateful for her insight. She's seen everything. I rack my brain. Shantira, 
How have you shown gratitude? Siri responds, I didn't catch that. I'm like, this bitch. What is my love language? It turns out my love language, the way that I express love, the way that I express gratitude is words of affirmation. And all this time the answer was words, fuck you, Gary. <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> sure, I show gratitude with thank yous and I love yous and welcoming your insight. Sometimes your insight into me because I'm kind of an asshole, but also insight into you. What makes you feel seen? So how do I show gratitude? Honestly, I don't always know. I don't know you yet, because my words can't be the same for everyone. But if you let me, I'd listen to you and learn you and love you, and together we could be better at seeing each other. And when it's all over, I would say, you're welcome. Nah, I'm just being an asshole. Thank you.